People send bad at video games. Sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play. God damn, Marcus is looking like a main character right now. We contacted Cyberlife for comment, but no Have I seen Blade Runner? I've seen like one cut. I don't remember which one. It was very confusing. But I also seen the 2049. Is it what it's called? The one with that dude. And the flying car. Actually, all of them are flying cars. Detroit become Marcus. This says a lot about. Alright, we gotta find the graffiti that looks like the symbol. There you go. They missed it. Just bear some change? No, nope, I'm poor. I'm a robot, I don't have money. Okay, I found a graffiti, what now? Next graffiti. Oh, okay. What was it that we looking for? Is that like a bird? Oh yeah, it's a bird. No? We're looking for a... Yellow, red, purple graffiti. Or something. I cannot cross the street apparently. There we go. There it is. Damn, your teachers have to be like... Whoa! I accidentally found a graffiti! <laughs> okay. I just randomly right clicked. We're getting more and more symbols, so I guess we're getting closer. Where's the last one? A blind. I'm not a robot. This is the opposite of a capture. I have to crouch, apparently. Third robot? This one already- I already scanned the third one. In the second one? Oh. There we go. That's a fourth robot. I think it's been below- No, okay, you're not- I was thinking you'd have to go for this manhole, but I guess not. I see the graffiti. I like that we at least can run a little bit now. You're so slow normally. You just have to get off the main streets. Half-life moments. Find a way to reach the roof. I think we'll have to move out. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that was easy. I'm really just... I'm really stumbling upon things to, to get there now, aren't we? Climb. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. Alright, parkour robot. It's white. Oh, wow. I guess chat saw it. I didn't see it at all. I was looking for a black one. Alright, now we can keep going. Just make the jump. You're a parkour god, man. It literally... Yeah, there we go. Here we go. He's starting to believe. We can wall run. We can jump. What happens if we wall run? And then we make a leap. Oh, that seems to be the one. There we go. That's the option. Not only is it the best one, but it looks the most awesome. Look at that. He even does the- oh my god, he looks so proud of himself. God damn. Detroit become human, but with movement. Nice. Alright, let's see. Becoming human, but with movement. Alright, play it. Oh, that looks lame. 
Are we really gonna do this one? That's a bit cooler. Way. Okay, I guess this is the way, best way to do it. Oh, there we go. I'd like. It. Oh, yeah. See, it doesn't look cool enough. So this would be too unstable. Let's try a different one. What else we got? We can wall run. Up on this little thing here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Then you do the thing here, obviously. You see, I'm a parkour legend. I understand all this. I'm like so good at And you can jump straight ahead or you can jump for the ladder. Jumping straight ahead makes more sense. It's right there. Go bop, bop, bop. Oh, too high? Okay, that's... You're telling me you can't make that... I could make that jump. And I'm a human. You... Oh, whatever. Okay, so then you just jump on the side and grab that. That's fine too. And then you just climb up. God damn. Here we go. Let's go. Damn. I'm just saying, if he could, if he could hit land that second jump, he should be able to hit the third one as well. But I guess it would be too boring to use the same movement over and again. Next graffiti. All right, what have we got? This looks like it. Oh yeah, oh my god, that's so cool. So we have to send in a perfect spot for the perspective here. There we go. That's cool. This reminds me, I wanted to get into urban exploring when I was a kid, but we didn't have anywhere to go, so I ended up not doing anything. Well, I like a... Uh, like a... It was like a lever factory that it tore down when I was a kid. I could have gone there, but... I got interested in it basically like a year that took it down. So it's just nothing to explore. I can't get over how much of a main character Marcus looks like. He's Robot Jesus. Reach... There's a boat? Oh, Jericho is the boat. Okay. Oh! Alright. Whoops. Thankfully, nobody was under that. Now, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? We just gotta use more parkour, like here. This looks like something we're gonna climb. Yep, there we go. Look at that. What, what did you expect? It was a bridge in video games, honestly, dude. Oh, wow. We're just gonna walk out this thing and we're gonna jump into, like, a, a haystack? What's at the end here? God, this is so cinematic. A bunch of water. There we go. Easy clap. Biblical. Oh, that's so pre-rendered. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, what's the pre-rendered? It looks so weird. Gonna be able to see our comments pog here. Like I said, we'll do it for the next time. Next uh, stream, so that'll be next week. Variety. Wait, where did his jacket go? Am I still wearing it, or did it fall get off in the fall? What happened with my jacket? Hello? I need my cool jacket back. Yeesh. My god. Was she just standing there the whole time? Thank you, Miss Like. Oh! I'll be right back. Sniper monkey. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. I've been through worse. Yeah, this boat is not up to code at all. What is this?
God damn. Oh, is that the dude from the... Welcome to Jericho. Yo, thank you, Snowflakes. Is that the good dude from the tutorial? Oh, this is definitely getting some Blade Runner vibes now. OSHA violation. In 2038, there's no such thing as OSHA. Hundred percent guaranteed. Ah, but that one. What are we scanning? The dude? What's that behind the dude? Soda. Oh. <laughs> Illegal gambling fraud. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we're stopping by uh, Kizai. Good night, man. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Yeah, I do. Let's apologize. Fuck it. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. <laughs> As it's cyber life thought everything, huh? Look at this chat. Look at Eric brought me oh, from work. Thanks, Gary. I'm starting. No sauce though, but that's fine. That because the sauce uh, makes me sick and chance. it's bad for you. Follows me everywhere. Hey, I wanted chicken though. Thankfully I got some chicken now. Gambling. Let's talk about gambling. Let's go. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. What <laughs> a smile. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. <laughs> it, it can't be a buddy cop drama movie slash show without the in English, please. <laughs> Always. It, it just needed it there. It just had to be there. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. God damn. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Damn. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Hand cam? Whoa, wh when did I change this? My bad, yeah. I don't know what I did. Both my appearance Thank you. And voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Damn. You ever dealt with deviants before? Yeah, he's gonna have to choose this guy. Just show him again, the dude that we saw in the boat. Just to make sure that we remember who he was. So I 
guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Washed up, baby. Let's I go. I know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. My <laughs> winks. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I was enjoying. I was enjoying the music, man. What is this? Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to CyberLife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. Aww. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh. Bird. Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. I, I feel like uh, Hank is like low key liking Connor. Like I said, he's a buddy cop. He's warming up to him. I mean, it said that on the on the thing, but. I could keep the door open for you. Oh, you got it yourself. What the fuck is this? Ah, uh, Jesus, this place stinks. That's a lot of doves. What the hell? Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. It's a lot of deviant. I guess deviants is like doves. Oh, look at where. Urban farms. Detroit. There's something behind this poster. Pulling a uh, Shawshank Redemption. Here we go. Hey, it's teared down. There we go. Why would a deviant keep a notebook? The maze. It's the maze, chat. I need some fresh air. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Military jacket. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Suspect doesn't eat. <laughs> Your place is covered in pigeons. And maybe it's eating the pigeons. You're very obvious it was a kerfuffle in the... Here's for wild animals. The killer is a pigeon. 
Oh, we got the RA9 uh, graffiti. Let's go, baby. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Let's go. Reconstruction time. Suspect drew, drew on the wall. Damn. And then he fell off the stool, apparently. Uh, probably from us up opening the door. We ran to the living room. Never mind. Then it must be where we... Maybe we just missed him. I wonder if robots have fingerprints. Metal hook recently broken. Hmm. Skid marks. Oh no. So speak ran towards the entrance. I'm not gonna lie, that felt like a very obvious conclusion. But what I know. Oh, oh I did climb up. So speak still here. Why do they always hide in the rafters, man? Get him! Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Oh. The dude kind of looks like the dude from uh, Watch Dogs, the first game. Fast was risky. Let's go for the fast one. I'm all about that. Oh no! Oof. Oh, at least we didn't die. Yeah, let's just jump. <laughs> yeah. Aid in Paris? Yeah, that was what it was called. We're going to risk you all the time. You just got to be really fast with that button pressing. Let's go, baby. Ah. I still haven't gotten good at quick time events. Did he just warp in front of me? I was right next to him. No! Not a warpy like. Alright, we need a fast one. <laughs> God damn it. It's gonna be like the edge of the roof. 
<gasps> Hank, no! Save Hank, save Hank, save! Chance of survival, 89. He's got it. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400496 Hank will remember that, yeah. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me- What am I to you? A statistic? God damn. Zero or one in your fucking program? Huh? God damn, that was a close one. See, I was holding in a crap the whole chase. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Hank, I was trying to just- Come here. He was obviously fine. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up. Helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up. The chase scene, she seemed worked up a storm. So the problem is that Hank is emotional. Right. I looked at it logically, but I, hey, what uh, oh, here we go. Holy shit! Fuck it. Damn. So I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you guys would have chosen to save Hank or not. So the reason I wanted to save Hank was because I, I was like, oh yeah, there's a high chance he's gonna make it. He's, he's a 89% chance he's obviously gonna make it up. And we gotta catch the criminal. Like, I don't know, man. I relate to this. I, re I relate to Connor probably a little bit too much. <laughs>